hello and welcome. I have a two card tarot reading for you today and it's Monday the 6th of March. So let's, oh, card fell out. Right, so that's our first one. Let me just pick a second card and we'll just go with it. Okay. Right, we've got the five of swords and we've got the page of pentacles. Huh, this very much seems to me, as soon as I got it, I felt like it was the end of one chapter and the start of a new. Um, so although this card doesn't look like the best of situations, I'm looking ahead and I'm not that bothered about it because I can see the potential for this person to start again. They're even wearing the same clothes, aren't they? Wow, did never notice that before. But they've both got the green tunic and the, or the brown boots and the red. So let's assume this is the same person. Let's assume it's you, all right? If this is where you're at, which doesn't seem like the best place to be, but sometimes we have to be in these situations to get a new positive future. Now, there is some huge, huge energy going on this week, all right? We've got a full moon in Virgo, which is very much working to heal us in some way and just really cleanse and let go of the past, let go of what doesn't serve us. And I know we always say that when there's a full moon, but I really feel this is a, a big, significant change because there are other planetary things going on as well. Saturn is moving into Pisces. Jupiter is also conjunct with Chiron, which is the wounded healer. Now, I love talking about i don't i don't do a lot of astrology but for me i just feel the fact that there's so many things going on within a couple of days of each other the sixth seventh eighth and ninth so most of this week i really feel that there's a huge emphasis on things changing for the better all right but because these are minor arcana cards this is what we've got to do it's like we've got to meet the universe halfway i feel all right, they're giving us potential, they're giving us new beginnings. But if you don't look at them, you can't see them, you don't get that really positive feeling. So it's very difficult to do if it means moving away from other people, moving away from perhaps a job or a home, or you know, starting again in some way and having things moving out of your life. That can be upsetting and it can be traumatic. But I just want to really focus on the fact that, yes, this guy's looking behind and acknowledging, accepting that things have now changed, things have now moved on. But look at where he's at here. Assuming this is the same person. He's like, oh, thank goodness that happened. Because if that didn't happen, if I didn't have to go through all that crap, I wouldn't be here now with this opportunity. Okay, so this person is not looking backwards, he's not looking at what's happened. You know, we've all had things go on in our past um, that we don't like. And, uh, you know, things that are that make us who we are. And you may be uh, like me, you may be divorced, you may have had a very traumatic childhood, you might be in a relationship at the minute that's not going so well, and you know, it's it's not really helping you. You know, there's there's things that we've we've had to always carry around with us. But I feel like this is putting them to bed for the very final time so that we can finally be the person that we want to be rather than being seen as, you know, the person with those issues that they're working through, okay? Um, the Page of Pentacles has got this lovely lush grass and the trees behind him. I just feel, um, I feel obviously there's an element to nature there, but being more in touch with themselves, being more in touch with what they're, journey is all about because I do feel that this is the start of something in fact I thought that was a cliff but it's actually just rolling hills so again hills I'm thinking farmland I'm thinking sowing seeds and harvests and reaping the rewards um, and if you're working in that way then I feel yeah okay so I'm getting the message about Virgo, the fact that actually Virgo is a sign that comes in in September. Um, 
August, September. So um, for us in the UK, that's, that's a harvest time. So I feel very much about whatever seeds you're planting now, whatever you're starting, there's this six month cycle. So when you've got the new moon in Virgo, or in other words, the sun is in Virgo, and that is the sign in August, September, these fields that are just, you know, looking like they've just been planted are going to be full. And I really feel that that is the message here for you, that in six months time, whatever's starting now is going to be coming to fruition. And you're going to be really, really pleased that you took the steps to make that happen. And you'll probably look back on this and think, oh, I don't know what all the fuss is about. I'm actually really glad that that person, situation, job, house, whatever it is, went out of my life because if it hadn't have done, I wouldn't be where I am now. So that's a message for today. There's also a message for six months time. So if you remember that, maybe <laughs> put a note in your diary, um, you know, plant the seeds now and see what happens when it comes around to Virgo season in, in six months time. So that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of what the scale that we're working on. And I think the energies that are coming up in March are really going to be the catalyst for what happens for the rest of the year. So I feel like we're quite excited about this. I think we're going to get more exciting cards this week to reflect that and to guide us and to make sure that we're absolutely doing, the, making the best start possible for the rest of this year. So please do come back again tomorrow um, and I will give you another reading. So if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. That'd be lovely. Um, and do, you know, write me a comment and I will reply. Okay, thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.